Hi, I'm John Holden. And I'm Andrea Ocampo. Welcome to Earth. Hi, I'm John Holden. Welcome to Earth. We're starting off our show here amidst the scenic beauty of the Colorado Rockies outside Denver, Colorado. You know, today it's so important to save our environment, so it's around to enjoy for generations to come. But you know, even the places we shop and the places kids play can be just as important for that environmental conservation effort as you're about to see. Every season is beautiful in Colorado, whether you visit the mountains to hike and bike or do something fun closer to home, like a little gardening. Now these kids are learning how to plant flowers here at Denver Premium Outlets. It's a center owned by Simon Property Group in Thornton, Colorado, just outside of Denver. It's a chance for kids like this to, well, get close to nature. I planted a cat mint and it's special because it grows back every year and it's also really good for the bees. I planted a perennial and it's important because it helps the earth. What's the reason you planted this? Um, because I wanted to keep the earth healthy and stuff. These local youngsters may also learn some unexpected ways to be eco-friendly, which they can share with family members. For one thing, it's more eco-friendly to visit a store to pick up items you need than to order them online for delivery to your home. The reason, Simon says, people use less fuel and produce less waste by shopping at brick and mortar stores or by ordering from and returning items to a local store. Simon is well aware of this sustainability advantage. They hired a third party consultancy firm, Deloitte, to confirm the numbers. So what we found was that driven mainly by the many extra stops that an online order makes until it finally arrives at your door, and that about 40% of these orders are ultimately returned, almost six times more than when you get together with family and friends at a place like this and actually buy what you need. What we've discovered was that comparing the same basket of goods is not even close, and shopping bricks and mortar creates 60% fewer emissions and five times less waste. A shopping center like Denver Premium Outlets also hosts all kinds of community events, many of which enhance its reputation as a good environmental steward and neighbor. We believe in connecting with the community while aligning with environmental actions. That's why we're hosting this denim recycling drive behind me. We believe in educating the community about keeping clothing and denim out of the landfill and reusing materials. And you can see environmental action throughout this LEED certified facility. From the solar PV panels atop its roof and low voltage LED lighting to the living wall of the food pavilion. The key was to avoid emissions from sourcing virgin materials in construction. For instance, the sheathing inside our food pavilion is actually reclaimed Wyoming snow fence. And the gold boulders you see behind me, those are actually harvested right here in our home state of Colorado at a quarry in Telluride. All our buildings were designed with high solar reflective roof systems. That means our center stays naturally cool and there are less greenhouse gas emissions. Now, mixed use redevelopment is another way that shopping centers can be good environmental neighbors. Actually, rebuilding on existing properties. That's what's happening here at Simon's North Gate Station in Seattle. Demolition of old department stores and reconstruction is still underway here, land on which the new mall will be built. We're able to intensify the amount of density on an already built site. We already have all of the underground in place. We do have to modernize, but there's not as much uh, complete build required with it. The new Northgate station with light rail transportation promises to be a mall of the future. Oh, I think this is going to be a prototype where you're going to see transit-oriented development, pedestrian-friendly, live, work, play, stay, shop. It's all. This is just the first little bit of it that's coming to fruition. By the time a couple more years roll around, it will look like the Garden of Eden. 
Simon's vision here, and for all their malls really, is to have a healthy, active lifestyle for their patrons and to exceed the basic retail function going forward and have community-centered developments and projects. It's very exciting. Integrating everything from amphitheater to retail to hotels, conference center, even a National Hockey League practice facility for the NHL's newest team, the Seattle Kraken. We're super excited to be an anchor of this development. So what we were able to do uh, is really think about it differently, which is how can we give back something uh, after we build these giant ice boxes. And we, we really landed on the solar aspect of it. We had these large roof volumes. And so what we committed to doing was putting 52,000 square feet of solar array on our roof. So almost all of our roofs are covered in solar. Uh, we put almost 580 kilowatts back into the grid uh, on a regular basis. And when you're not shopping or playing hockey at this Northwest Mall site, another environmental education also awaits the visitor, thanks to a new on-site bee farm. People might think, that's sort of a surprising spot to find some bees. Um, but that's, that's sort of exactly what we're going for, is creating opportunities for people to be sort of curious and noticing something and starting to ask questions about their ecosystems. So knowing already the great advantages of shopping bricks and mortar retail, our mission is to green the rest by fully decarbonizing our portfolio and doing our part to combat climate change while also protecting our communities, local ecosystems, and natural resources. We've invested millions in renewable energy, operational efficiency, and eco-conscious development, and have cut our own emissions by almost 70 percent. We're committed to continue to invest in our shared future through both traditional and innovative solutions. By greeting the rest, we'll then be able to offer our visitors a completely carbon-neutral shopping option. That is our mission. It's all about the future of sustainability in shopping, where shopping centers offer the community a, a greener shopping solution, a chance to well, bring the community together, and yes, even an environmental education to learn more about something like bees.